Eyewitness Weather Forecast. Name Weather Rate's most accurate forecast since 2008. Well, good evening. Heavy rain continues to make its way through parts of our area at this hour and still causing some flooding concerns as well as it does so. And we're not really going to take a couple of hours before we finally start to see a break getting to go into this weekend. Let's look at radar. There's those heavier downpours from Delaware, Cool Ball, East Stroudsburg, Broadheadsville near Jim Thorpe and Lee Heighton, Carbon, Monroe, and Pike counties have been getting slammed with rain over the last couple of hours. Now, these are the areas that I haven't seen the most out of everybody, so no flood warnings, but flood advisories are up in those counties for some of that heavier rain. So water ponding on roads is really something we're watching for. And we're not done yet. We still have some heavier rain down near Harrisburg and Lancaster. Eventually, all of that will continue to move up to the north and east. And even a quick heavier downpour out towards central Pennsylvania as well, just south of Williamsport, Union, Snyder, and Northumberland counties getting a good whack as well. But farther back into central Pennsylvania, the rain has tapered off. Now, we still do have that flood potential, so flash flood watches are still in effect for really just about everybody except for the far northern portions of the Susquehanna Valley and farther out into central Pennsylvania. And this goes until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning as some of that heavier rain does continue to make its way through during the remainder of this evening and the early stages of tonight. Temperatures are in the 70s and 60s. Mount Pocono 68, Pottsville 70, Wilkes Barre, Scranton 71, and Williamsport at 70. Dew points are still well in the 60s to near 70, so still a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and that's just fuel for the showers and storms as they come through. That's why they haven't let up, and that's why they've really been so heavy as well. We have all the moisture that we need to keep these things going. Now, over the next couple of hours, the temperature isn't going all that. Where it's going to end up sitting in the mid 60s and upper 60s for tonight, and eventually we'll make it back into the 70s and 80s for tomorrow. Now, the culprit here has been this area of low pressure and the stationary front, which is slowly moving off to the east. We call it a stationary front because it doesn't move very much, and that's just been a pain for us over the last couple of days. But as we continue through the remainder of tomorrow, notice things do dry out. We'll get some sunshine back the way. Very isolated rain shower can't be completely ruled out. Sunday looks pretty good through the morning, going to have plenty of sunshine. Going into the afternoon, we will keep the sunshine here. So, the weekend, we're finally seeing a turnaround. Here's how the forecast is shaping up tomorrow 86, a shower or storm, especially in the morning. Then we'll dry out for the afternoon, except for that isolated shower. Sunday, 88 and partly sunny. So, we're cranking up the heat by the end of the weekend, and that'll continue into early next week. 68 for the overnight low tonight in the eyewitness weather forecast. It's mostly cloudy. Showers and a thunderstorm. Remember, those will stick around to tomorrow morning, but by the afternoon, we clear back out. We crank up the heat again Monday. We're near 90. Clouds and sunshine, a very isolated shower toward the tail end of the day, but Monday looks mainly dry. Even a lot of Tuesday looks dry for now, but showers will arrive later on. Wednesday, scattered showers and a couple of thunderstorms. A lingering one on Thursday, but it looks pretty isolated. Much of the day is dry. Friday looks dry as well for now at 84. And you can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to get your latest updates on the weather. The forecast is, of course, always available for your viewing pleasure all day online at pahomepage.com. So relief. Mm -hmm. It's a couple of hours to go, but then the weekend, yeah. much deserved. Most of the weekend looking really good. It looks great. And we really do need this to be just no more rain can be handled in any of our areas. Right, right. Yeah. We need to dry it out. Yes. And we're